for many of us, we carry around uh, throughout our life all kinds of belief systems and assumptions that about who we are, what our thoughts and emotions are, the nature of reality, and it seems like a baggage that we carry around us, or you can say glasses in which we view and filter reality as it is, and for sure this was my experience. And one, one major belief system and assumption that became clear to me due to the meeting the Balance You training and being introduced to Open Intelligence was that for most of my life I made up a belief system <laughs> that positive thoughts are better than negative thoughts. And if I'm behaving correctly and, and I'm beneficial, in my speech and conduct, then I will receive more positive data streams, thoughts, emotions and sensations. And if I'm doing something wrong, then I will have all these signals in my experience, all the data streams that saying, uh uh, due to you being like that, now you should experience some bad things like sadness and depression. And obviously being in this cage of belief system and assumption, I efforted a lot to try and understand what did I do wrong. So there was constantly, whether I was high or low or in between, there was constantly a lot of focus going on to my data streams, trying to describe them and understand them. And I was really good in analyzing my data streams, but it was really a lot, a lot of time and effort and energy that went into trying to figure out this dynamic display and see now in your own experience how many thoughts, emotions and sensations you have just right now. One appearing, disappearing, then another one, another one. And we try to build, most of us, a, a stable, beautiful story about our life on an ever-changing display. So unpredictable, so random at times. Funny also. We look at our thoughts and emotions and one, one moment we think we are so, oh wow, I'm so great and another moment I'm, I'm not at all great and, and then all the things in between and it really starts to become clear as we are gaining confidence in open intelligence that this is not something to rely on. Because, you know, data streams appear and disappear like rainbows in the sky. They have no independent nature. So that's another thing that become obvious when we start to take short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until the obviousness of open intelligence is continuous at all times. This is the practice of the balanced view training. So not just open intelligence when we behave and we have good thoughts and emotions and we feel great and energized, but open intelligence in everyday life, in, inseparable from all data streams, including the ones with the, that you think, oh, no one next to me should know that that's what I'm thinking or feeling. Because the sense of worth, you know, as a human being is that trying to pretend that we are always on top of it and never, never swayed by this or that. And I remember for myself before uh, doing the 12 empowerments, I felt a lot of isolation. I felt even, even with my closest friends, I, I, I didn't feel comfortable to share openly about what's going on. Or some, with some friends I shared extensively on what's going on, but that also didn't resolve the situation because I, I, was, I was just indulging in my stories about how do I feel and who to blame and maybe it's because of this, that or the other thing. So you see there's a cycle there of victimhood. There's a cycle of emphasizing data streams ongoingly, every day, all day and night, with pockets of relief here and there. That, that was my experience. So being introduced to a stable ground, open intelligence, something that never changes, something that is always stable, clear, alert, the basis, the inseparable basis of everything that comes up, the thoughts, emotions and sensations, that's amazing. And it can sound great, and beautiful, ah, oh, wow, sounds great, it's just like this and that that I had before. And, but what we invite here is rather than an, uh, uh, just thinking about it or hearing, let it be as it is, and you say, yeah, intellectually, it's a, a good argument about what a human being should be or do, but then to actually take a short moment of open intelligence and allow the current data stream to be as it is, that's very different. So hearing something that is great, you know, like, 
affirmations uh, what you asked before about affirmation it's not that it's not about like trying to replace a negative state with a positive one because in open intelligence all data streams are equal and even like reflections in a crystal ball whether you put them in front of an angry person or, or a beautiful person who is completely calm and in a, a m some kind of a happy state the crystal ball is unaffected and it reflects everything equally and evenly, unwaveringly. And this is the same with the nature of mind. But also what came in your question, which is really important, is that allowing everything to be as it is for short moments many times, what happens, it, and I had this fear, whoa, I'll go nuts. <laughs> I will lose it. I will act in ways that I don't want to act, the uh, data streams, everything that I try to control for so long, my sadness, my anger, and my desire, if I will uh, allow it to be as it is, it will be like, buckle up everyone, and you know, I'm allowing everything to be as it is, and I'll go nuts and crazy and all over the place. But surprisingly, what happens, and this is something the training states from the very beginning, and, and Candy so skillfully supports, is what starts to come about is relaxation, actually and clarity, the ability to know what to do and what to say, rather than being swayed by thoughts, emotions, and sensations. Oh, this comes up, I have to say it, and this and that. And there is entire support to, first of all, normalize the data streams as they are, things that we thought it's just us, the only ones from all seven billion people. You know, sometimes you're in your room at night, and you feel this feeling, and oh, it's just me, <laughs> no one else, or just the crazy people in, in a locked room somewhere. <laughs> they, they are the only ones, we are the only ones. But then when we come about to the community of Balanced View, participate in the training, there's a sense of normalization. Everyone feels hope and fear, anger and hatred, jealousy and envy, desire, these are common human experiences and all of us have the most basic human right in open intelligence to choose what we want to do with that. To be a victim of that, emphasize it, get lost in the stories, or to empower ourselves in short moments repeated many times. And it's an amazing difference. It's a sim one simple change, but the difference that it makes in my life and in the lives of everyone who takes it on is amazing. Suddenly it's like I can feel all kinds of things right now while I speak to you or when I wake up in the morning, yet there's a, the stability of open intelligence pervades the data stream. I'm no longer just seeing a, a, a title, you're a loser because you're feeling that or you're great because you're feeling another thing. There's just brightness and openness, benefit. So no matter what we are thinking or feeling, we can take a short moment of open intelligence and again, and gain confidence. It's gradual for most people. Before meeting the Balanced View Training, I thought that the moment of getting open intelligence will be so dramatic. It will be a specific date on the calendar and, you know, it will be a perfect setting somewhere in India and I'll, I'll suddenly get the nature of reality. <laughs> That's what I read in books, that it's a sudden thing like that. And, uh, what, what's happening actually in reality is something that is forever deepening. We gain more and more confidence in the power of open intelligence. And for sure, sometimes we can forget or emphasize a data stream, but then the support that is available in Balanced View always reminds us that we are, in one short moment, can be right on track. So even forgetting open intelligence, and you say, oh, wow, I didn't take a short moment for the last... 26 hours. I'm such a loser. Wow. After hearing this talk and watching the video and doing this training and that, then you suddenly see at one point, ah, actually that's my reminder to just relax. So there's no way to fall back. Even if it seems that we forgot, when we take a short moment, it's like a reset button. So this is my experience. So all of this vagueness around lack of recognition of the nature of my reality or mine, just at one point disappeared with a great laugh. It was a ah, <laughs> lack of recognition is just the next data stream. And that's what empowers really the potency and benefit that comes about. This is the beneficial energy of open intelligence. The power of open intelligence It's in each and every data stream, inseparable from it. See how much is going on right now. Look at your own experience. 
Even if you think I don't have any thought, that's your thought, that's your dynamic potency. And all of it is dynamic potency that can be contributed to the benefit of all, or can be used to oppress ourselves. We are not good enough, we are not this enough, we are not beautiful enough, young enough, strong enough, old enough, uh, flexible enough, or whatever. All of this appears in open intelligence, and the training of balanced view is so incredible, because I shared all the ways in which I used to view myself, and then I participated in the 12 empowerments of balanced view, and it's a written text by Candice, and it was actually the solution to, to all of these big questions that I had for my entire life. It was a practical solution, not just like, you know, like I'll sit here and I'll describe the taste of the best ice cream in Melbourne. I have one place there that I really like, you know, it's a beautiful ice cream and the texture is so, uh, you know, like, so amazing and, and when you eat it, it's like, wow, and you know, all the flavors and, <laughs> and it's really big and generous, you know, and, and like, oh, and, and everyone might get excited or have their own <laughs> desires about ice cream or other things, <laughs> but when you actually taste it, you know, and that's the power of a short moment. We can describe, 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 but the power is to take a short moment in our own experience, relax body and mind for a short moment, how it is for you. And that's what I love in the training. It evokes this instinctive recognition rather than just talking about something. And I remember being in a certain place in India uh, bef just before coming across the Balance View training, and I there was a, co a, a table of people that constantly spoke about the nature of reality and they were older than me. And I just saw myself and I said, wow, I, I don't want, with all my respect and love, that's not how I want to spend my life. I don't want to spend my life talking about a great possibility that maybe we, I will reach there if I will purify myself for the next one billion years. No, I want something that I can practically enjoy and be able to contribute in my everyday life as it is. And that's really just before me coming across the training. So, and everyone can enjoy it. No matter what is your display, no, no matter how afflictive you think you are, we all have the right to empower our own mind. And that's the example, you know, when we speak about exemplifying, uh, uh, being an example of role modeling of open intelligence, is allowing even that, the cell insecurity to be as it is. That's a great contribution, because everyone feels insecure every now and then. So not to build up a whole story about it, I need to hide myself, or things like that, just as we are. What do I think right now? What are my emotions or my physical states right now? Do you want to know? Yeah? <laughs> I can share. Uh, like, energy-wise, I have like 50% because I've been sick for a while. I woke up with the usual, usual morning depression. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bring everyone down, okay. <laughs> but you see, the talk could have been about that. Like, I woke up with the usual morning depression that I felt since I was six years old. Uh, I considered how my future will look like. And everything is bright. <laughs> Everything is bright and open like clear, vast sky. And that's the major difference that I see in my life, where before it was, okay, another day, let's think about it. <laughs> and wake up my wife to think about it together. <laughs> and try to solve it together. <laughs> now, all of this can be allowed to be as it is. I'm not distracted by it. If I, need, if I fall down and need some support, I know exactly where to turn and I have all of the energy that is needed to be of benefit right now, to be of actual benefit in the ways that I like, the ways that I enjoy, to contribute to the world. And that's, that's an amazing, amazing life.